happy Friday guys how's it going we are here setting a little gas pressure on an American standard gas pack and I have got out my good old Chinese branded manometer and you can make fun of it all you want but I have tested it up against I don't know how many other manometers everything from the big expensive fancy field piece to you know old yellow jacket analogs and this thing's right on the money and you know this is the the same one that they make for Supco that you can pay you know 80 bucks for or you can get this Chinese branded one with no name Supco stamped on it on eBay or Amazon for you know like 28 30 dollars and these things are awesome I mean it's super accurate you've got dual port there you can do static pressure you can test your gas pressures you've got all your inches of water column feet of water column all the different settings that you need it's got a nice backlight on it but the feature I really like is the min max average feature and what you can do with that it really comes in handy on pulse furnaces because I, I still work on a ton of pulse furnaces man they're still out there chugging along and pulse furnaces aren't real super steady they will bounce around slightly so I will put this thing on my min max average setting and I will run that thing for a minute and then I will take my average over that length of, of time that it recorded that and that's what I'll dial the furnace into because pulse furnaces run on two inches of water column on natural gas instead of 3.5 so with it bouncing around like that you take that average and you just dial it into two and if your average is two then you're good to go on that thing so where it's going to come in handy here is because on the gas packs you know some guys say you got to have the door on to get your gas pressure set just right so what we'll do we'll put this thing in here because it's small enough to do that we'll try to bend our tubing and stuff over out of the way i'm going to stick the door on that thing we're going to run the min max average for a little while here you know we'll do it for 30 45 seconds or something and then i'll pull it out of there and i'll see what my average was over that time period with the door on the unit and make sure we're sitting at 3.5 so Give me a second to get everything crammed back on here and we'll see what we come up with. All right, so we got our door on there. We're gonna run her for a little bit here and see how that pressure comes out on this thing. We've got another pretty nice day here, Tennessee. It's gonna be 70 degrees. It started out like 45 degrees this morning, but it cleared up, turned into a beautiful day but we all know that winter is going to get here sooner or later and then we'll be out here tromping around in the snow but for now i'm going to enjoy it it is friday maybe ted on anti dyi will be giving away some good stuff tonight we'll cross our fingers hope we get lucky all right so let me get the door off here and we'll see what we got all right so we're back we hit our record button over here on the side you got your backlight and your record you can see the time period we recorded for about a minute there and then if we just hit that button again we're going to get if you can see down there in the lower left there's your max so our max was 3.53 we hit the button again there's our minimum 3.42 we hit the button one more time now we've got an average of 3.49, which that's about as close to 3.5 as you could get. So I would say that one is okay. I might dial it up, tweak it just a little hair, a little smidge, nothing major. Um, but that's just one reason I like this particular manometer. I mean, this thing is plenty good enough for the professional out there you know the the new guy out in the field this is a great manometer for you uh, when you're first getting into things you know money's tight you don't have 
the money for every single tool that you want to get so you got to sort of prioritize things and uh, you know you compare this to the big fancy field piece out there that sells for like $268 I believe and you know this thing's 30 bucks and I'm telling you I'll put this thing's accuracy up against anything out there if I ever question what this thing is doing I have another digital manometer and I also have my tried and true yellow jacket analog that was in the old yellow box not the blue one like they make now the one from back in the day that was in a yellow plastic box and uh, it's right on the money this thing just lines right up with it so you know nice little manometer um, you know there's no real specific model or part number on these things it's just the Chinese unbranded version that you can get on eBay or Amazon cost about 30 bucks ship it to the door and you're ready to roll man so this one's looking pretty good I thank you guys for watching leave me a thumbs up leave me a comment uh, if you use a manometer like this yourself and you've had good success with it leave a comment below let everybody know and until next time We'll catch you guys later. See ya.